Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous videos of Codesys tutorial, we learned how to use timers and counters in Codesys using ladder logic language. Today we will learn how to use these functions with structured text. In this video, I'm going to show just how to program timer and counter in structured text. If you need more detail about how timer and counters in Codesys work, you can watch these two videos in Codesys playlist. Okay, let's start with timer. Here I have already declared the variables and timer function. Our timer is a pulse timer. The variable start to initiate the timer and output to show when the timer output is turned on. Then I declared a variable for its lapse time. It's exactly like what we do with ladder logic. Let's start to write these functions in ST. First write the name of the timer and then open the parentheses. As you see, Codesys will uh, show you automatically some hints how to program your timer. For this timer, we have two input variables, in and pt. In is input and must be boolean, and pt is preset time. Q is the output and et is the lapse time. First of all, we need to determine the input variables to initiate the timer. Write exactly what you see here. For in, we have declared start. As you know, the assignment is with a colon and equal sign. With comma, we can assign other variables. For pt, we can write the value directly with t hashtag 5s. Close the parentheses and at the end, semicolon. Now the timer is ready to start. Let's start the simulation. Open the pulse timer that we have declared here to see its values. Input, preset value, output, and lapse time. As you see, the input is false, so the output is also false and lapse time is zero. If I press the start button, the output will be immediately turned on and after five seconds, it will be off. I'm going to enable the timer. As soon as the timer is enabled, the output is turned on. If you need to use the output queue or the lapse time of the timer in your program, you can assign a variable to them. Write the output variable and then the assignment. Write the timer name and then dot. You see, Codesys gives you the outputs to choose. Choose the output queue. Do the same for the lapse time. Now we can use the timer outputs in our program. That's it. We could write a pulse timer in codices using structured text. Other timers we can also use in this way. I'm going to copy the code and change the name for TON timer. Again, write the timer name. Now 
let's write the code for TOF and then simulate these two timers. Now if I run the program and as soon as I press the start, the elapsed time of TON starts to count and 5 seconds after that the output of the timer will be activated. Whenever I change the state of the input to false, the output of the timer will be turned off. For TOF, if I press the input, the output of the timer will be immediately true. Whenever the input is false, again, the output will remain turned on, but the lapse time starts to count and after 5 seconds, output will be turned off. That was the timers in codices using the structure text programming language. Now let's talk about the counters. Like timers, we need first to declare our counters. We have three uh, counters in codices, counter up, counter down and both counters together. CTU is a counter up. Write the name of the first counter and open parentheses. Again, you will see the input and outputs that we need to declare to use the counter. CU, counter up, reset, preset value, Q and current value as outputs. Let's declare and assign a boolean variable to the CU. With each rising edge at this input, the counter value CV is incremented by 1. To reset the counter value to 0, let's declare a variable. If we set this variable to true, CV will be reset to 0. And for PV, I set it to 3. When CV reaches this value, the output Q will be turned on. Let's simulate our code. I forgot to declare the variables. We can also use control with F7 to write the values. Now with another rising edge, the output will be true. With reset, I set the counter again to zero. Similarly, we have CD that with each rising edge at its uh, input, the counter value will be decremented. With load input, we can load the preset value in the current value. PV again, let's set 3. The current value is 0, set so the output uh, is on. Load the preset value to the current value. CV is now 3. With each rising edge at CD, the current value is decremented. And again, with CV0, the output is true. Alright, the last counter can be used to increment or decrement a value. In other words, we have both uh, counters up and down inside one function block. C will increment and CD will decrement the value. Reset, load and PV are exactly like uh, other counters. For output we have Q, uh, U that will be true when CV has been incremented to PV and QD will be true when the CV is zero. Just copy the variables of uh, two counters down and up.
I'm going to start a simulation. As you see, this timer is just a combination of two uh, up and down counters. All right, that was another tutorial on codices programming and using structured text. I hope this was helpful to you. See you next video. Bye.